So what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a star of the show, a very specific star of the show, and that's our little heifer Daphne. Daphne here is extremely close to calving. We're going to go over the signs that your cow, or in this case Daphne, is giving us that she's going to drop a calf here shortly. So if you don't see your bull do the deed or you don't AI your cows, you might not have an idea of when they're about the calf and that's something that you want to know so you can check on them and just make sure everything's going okay so we're gonna go over what's up dude hey dude what's up yeah you're the bull okay so we're gonna go over what to look for when they're getting close the first thing you look at is the bag her udder here and you can see it has for her at least filled in pretty significantly so that tells me hey you know what she's uh she's one she's pregnant two she's very pregnant and three she's gonna be calving really soon so her teats will elongate and her udder will fill in let's take a look at another one of our heifers that's not close to calving so you guys can see the difference this is strawberry here and you can see there's nothing going on down there yet so that's telling me she she probably is pregnant because she's been running with the bull and she's old enough but she has she's not she's not close now the second thing you gotta look at is her backside and to see how springy, how floppy, how loose um, she is back there. And that'll give you a good determination how close she is. Let's take a look at Daphne. Now we're just getting on the spring flush right now, but you can see her backside. She's about ready. She's all kinds of floppy, all kinds of springy, and she's ready. She's about ready to go. You can see, yeah, anything can fall out of there. <laughs> And to give you a quick comparison, let's go look at another one of our heifer Scarlet that's not, not as close as Daphne by any means. You can see Scarlet's backside here. Ah, she's starting to develop maybe a little bit, tiny, tiny bit, but uh, nowhere near what Daphne's is looking like. Now the third thing that at least I look for is the, what they call their pins. Um, it's the ligaments right near their tail, and what will happen is as they start to get closer and closer to calving, um, they kind of disappear, they loosen up a lot to, to a point to where you can almost grab, you know, you can put your hand around their tail like this and almost touch fingers. Daphne's not necessarily as handled as some of the other cows. You can see right here, okay. That's what you're looking for. Okay, we'll, we'll go to one of our other ones. Okay, this is Ellie and she's a lot more handled. And what you do is you put your hand right, right here, you can feel the tail and to see you know, your hands, she just gave birth to a calf two months ago, so her pins are starting to tighten up again. But when you can, when you can almost touch your fingers underneath their tail, that means that they're loose enough to where, hey, it's, uh, it's coming out. And a lot of the times you'll be able to actually see the indention. Um, so like Daphne, she doesn't, she's not one, she's not a cow that really lets me touch her too much. Um, you can see the indention and you can go, okay, her pins are loosened up big time. Now the fourth thing to look for is a little bit on the grosser side, but uh, just some stuff, we'll call it just stuff, coming out the back end, you know, getting it ready to, you know, act like a slip and slide. So you'll see stuff coming out, whatever you want to call it, discharge mucus, whatever it is. Um, that's how you know, okay, you're real, real close. Now the fifth thing that you know that they're getting real, real close, like it's gonna happen within a couple hours, is that they'll distance themselves from the herd. The cow that's giving birth will distance themselves from the herd to give them one, a little bit of privacy, two, um, so if they're in a big mob, they don't get, the baby doesn't get trampled. And then three, they'll move to probably the highest or one of the higher points in your paddock like we do here, or if you just turn your cows out, up in the pasture. Why? Because any prey animal, cow's one of them, sheep, any, any prey animal, they're always gonna wanna be on the top part of the paddock. That way they can see as much as they can, you know, coming up the hill or coming towards them. And they have as much time to prepare. So they can see if there's a coyote coming up and then they have to move. So they'll give birth on the, usually the top part of the paddock. That's been, that has rung true for every one of the calves that have been born here. And it'll probably ring true again. But, but you'll know they move away and they move up. So that's where you know to look for a calf if you think your cow is giving birth, usually at the highest point, and then you can look around there, usually not the lowest one. And then one other thing that I just take from observing and seeing what our bull has done, when a cow gets close to calving, 
he'll kind of hang around by them. He'll kind of, you know, be closer to them. Why? I don't know. Is that it just our bull? Maybe. Is it all bulls? Possibly. Is it him saying, okay, I'm going to give you a little bit more protection just you when you're most vulnerable? That's what I like to think. Now, does that ring true for every bull in every circumstance? No, it's just something that I've observed and I've seen happen at least three times now. But we are excited here because Daphne is getting really, really, really close to finally giving birth. And uh, this will be the third longhorn calf and fourth uh, calf on the farm. So we're getting pretty excited about it. Now remember when she does start to give birth, um, when the baby starts coming out, you wanna see proper positioning. And that's with its hooves, both of them, underneath its chin and you know coming out face first other way uh, any other way it's probably going to be it's probably not going to end up very good um if you see something different if you don't see that and 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 if you're outside and you happen to see your cow give birth and it's not going like that i would either you know what to do or call somebody who knows what to do and that would probably be a vet because again i don't have any experience with that so this is just a quick little video hopefully that helps you guys out hopefully you guys uh, hit that subscribe button down below so you can see should be our probably our next video that uh daphne has a, a calf on the ground and hope to god everything goes perfectly so with that again hit that subscribe button down below ring the notification bell so you get notified uh, when daphne has that calf and uh drop a comment if you like all right until next time see ya bye